We shall discuss this after the deal is sealed. Is that Sir, it? I don't have any business with you outside my working space. Sophie! How dare you talk to a client like that? Hello, Sophie. Good day, sir. Good day. Um, have you received uh, any response from our client as to the meeting we scheduled for the week? Um, yes, sir. I've been able to get in touch with them, and we have a date set for the meeting. Well, that's fantastic. That's good to hear. So that's news to hear. You know, this deal is like a turning point to our company. You understand? Uh, I see that it's going to be something that will change the company. Um, you understand? It's going to take us from where we are to where we've been expecting. Yes, sir. This deal is a game changer for us. And moreover, our proposal is very solid. I trust you in that, Sophia. I trust you. Uh, so what's going to happen now is that um, you have to inform all the staff of the company. Yeah, um, tell each and every one of them that um, everyone will be working overtime until this deal is sealed. Okay. Next time. Tell them everyone will have to be working overtime until the deal is sealed. And uh, we have to show them that we are truly a team and we can achieve what we want. Understood, sir. I'll pass across the information to them and we promise you to work tirelessly until we seal this deal. All right, no problem. I can go to your office. Thank you, sir. I promise not to let you down, sir. No problem. Have a good day, sir. How are you doing today? I'm good, Sophie. How are you? I'm fine. I have some information about the clients with you. Can we talk for a minute? Sure. Tell me, what's the update? So, we closed the deal already, and the manager says this as a turning point for the company. That's good. But, we have to talk about our clients. That one I told you about, remember? The one that keeps sending me inappropriate messages. Oh, Sophie, I'm so sorry I had to go through that. I mean, who wants to tolerate such behavior? Have you reported it? Actually, yes. I've reported to the HR and they are looking into it. And I feel nobody should pass through that or face that. It's inappropriate and I feel it will affect the deal and everything. All right, Sophie. I mean, it's not just about the deal. It's about the company's um, values and the respect we uphold to me. I think you should talk to the manager. He might see reasons with you. The manager? He puts a lot of work into this deal and I can't do anything to jeopardize that. You have to try. Who knows? He might see reasons. The manager is a very fair person. Let's talk to him. Our job here is to speak up. Thank you. You know what? I'll go to his office now and talk to him about it. And I'm doing this for us, for the company. We cannot allow such a client in this company. You're right. And I believe he will listen to you. He's a very nice friend. I pray he does. I'm coming. Let me just go to his right. office and talk to him about it. I'll be right back. All right. Let me know how it goes, huh? Okay. Good day, Sophia. You're back so soon. Yes, sir. Um, can yeah. I have my set? Yeah, definitely sit down. Is there anything you want to discuss? Sir, I have some concerns about the client we spoke about earlier. Okay. And I feel I should share it with you, sir. Go on, more years. Okay. This client has been asking me out persistently, and I've told him several times that I'm not interested. But he keeps pestering me every time. 
and I feel it will have some implications on our deal with them. <laughs> Sophie. Uh, Sophie, you know, there's something you need to understand. You know, see, there is a type of relationship you need to build with clients. Uh, apart from the company relationship we have with them, there's still sometimes we build a personal relationship with them. I don't know if you understand where I'm going to, Sophie. So uh, we don't need it to be disturbed if it's disturbing you or if it's... Just do your job, Sophie. I believe you're an adult. But, but sir, this is inappropriate. It doesn't respect boundaries and I don't think it's safe to work with someone who doesn't respect boundaries. Sophie. Sophie, I believe you mean well for this company, right? Yes, I do. You mean well for the organization? Yes, sir. So, get it done. But, sir. Sophie. I know you know what to do. We we can't lose this deal. You have to do whatever thing it takes to see this deal. Just get it done. It's just a harmless uh, friendship and connection. You need to just um, deal with, right? Get it done, Sophie. Just get it done, okay? But that... No buts. Okay? No buts. Just get it done. All right? Get it done. There's no time. All right? You can go. Go. I understand. We have to seal a deal, and you are here telling me relationship and come off it. I reported it to the HR and I will make sure Mr. Daniel's behavior doesn't go like that without getting addressed to. Yeah. It's unfair. And I know something will be done by the grace of God. It's alright, eh? It's okay. It's just so I don't mean to battle. It's calling me. Hello, Mr. Daniels. Sophia, my dear. How are you doing? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I was hoping that when the deal is closed, we can hang out. Or what do you think about it? Sir, I don't think I have the time for that. I'm occupied at work. I have a lot of things to do. I don't have the time. <laughs> Surely. Sophia, you know I admire you so much. And I would really love to go on this date with you. Mr. Daniel, I've told you several times, I don't want us to have anything to do outside this work. Outside the deal. It's unprofessional, sir. Good. That serves him right. I admire your courage and your professionalism. So she called the call on me? Just because I uh, told her how I feel about her? Sophia? Alright. <laughs> Let me see what the stock is still in market this, this morning. Thank you so much. Come on, it's so stupid. Uh-uh. It's -uh. so, so unprofessional. Don't think about that. I know.
Sophia. Yes, sir. Remember what I told you. Okay? You have to be of good behavior. Okay? Sophia, listen up. You have to be of good behavior. Smile when necessary. Okay, sir. You understand me? We need to get this deal sealed and done with. Is that clear? Very good. I believe in the next few minutes he will be here. Mr. Mr. Adewale. Mr. Dan. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Nice to meet you again. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> and to Sophia, the one I've always had my eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed, Mr. Daniels. You know, uh, Sophia he has been a valuable uh, asset to the team. <laughs> yes, and we are so delighted to discuss the uh, potential of this partnership with you, sir. <laughs> you know, Mr. Dewali, you know, I've always found a liking in Sophia, ever since our last day. <laughs> I, I believe so, sir. Uh, you know, uh, Sophia um, is indeed a good girl. Mm, yes, uh, obviously. And I believe she appreciates the, uh, <laughs> the wonderful jobs coming from your mouth, sir. Mr. Daniels, I've told you several times I'm not interested, sir. Let's just deal with the business at hand. I wasn't expecting this, Mr. Dewali. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Sophie, we shall discuss this after the deal is sealed. Is that sir, this? I don't have any business with you outside my working space. Sophie! How dare you talk to a client like that? Is that something wrong with you? I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Daniels, please. I'm sorry, please. I apologize for having you. This is so I really. Uh, Sophie! Will you send an, an apology to to a client. How dare you? <laughs> Wonderful. Welcome, HR. Wow. Wonderful. I was told that the meeting will be holding today. And I have come to see for myself. Mr. Adewale. How dare you send out our women for this company? I'm asking you, why? Mr. King, it's not what you think. It, it's not what... Mr. Dewale, this is very, very improper. And you, young man? Sir, can you do yourself a favor by leaving this place this, this minute? Mr. King, Mr. Dewale here is... Mr. Dewale, I did not ask for your opinion. Get out of this place right now. And as for you, Mr. Adewale, you are hereby relieved of your duties. What? Yes. But I was only doing this for the benefit. I don't need any of your opinion, Mr. Adewale. How dare you send out the women of this company just like that for your own selfish interest? Mr. K, it was just for the sole purpose of, and benefit of the company. Wow! By selling out all the women in this company. I wasn't selling her, I was only. Oh. Listen and listen good. Such an attitude will not be tolerated in this company. Just take a look. Just take a look. As for, as for this girl, I'll make sure I deal with you. Definitely make sure I deal with you. Don't know what's coming. Oh. They don't value me, they don't value me, no problem. 